Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am going over how to record a mortgage payment in QuickBooks Online. The majority of people today pay their bills online or automatically. So this is for mortgage payments that are drafted from a bank account. If you wish to see how to complete a mortgage check, let me know in the comments below. Typically, I do two videos for every tutorial, a business owner view and the accountant view of QuickBooks Online. However, every so often, there are tasks that don't matter what view you see it in. The navigation is the same for both. So this is the only view this video will be in, as it is the same whether you are a business owner or working from your QBO accountant profile. So let's dive in. First things first, you'll wanna have your mortgage statement handy. Then head up to the new button and under the other column, click on journal entry. Once inside the blank journal entry screen, You'll want to name your entry something related to what the entry is about. For example, mortgage payment 11. This shows that you are creating a journal entry for a mortgage payment, and I chose to add 11 to show that it is November's payment. This will make it easy to find later when you need to match your transaction. Then make sure you adjust the date to the date of the payment. Now it is time to enter our journal data. If you don't have your mortgage account set up in the chart of accounts yet, do not worry. You can easily create them here from the journal entry screen. Click the add new button to create a new account to reflect your mortgage principal. This will be a long term liability. For an account of this type, you can enter the beginning balance and closing data to better track your financials. When finished, click the green Save and Close button. Now you can enter in the principal portion of your mortgage payment under debit. Then credit the bank account you used to pay the mortgage that same amount. Next, you'll want to enter in the mortgage interest portion of your payment. You'll create an interest paid expense account for this. I like to create a separate mortgage interest account to have a deeper insight when viewing reports. Mortgage interest is tax deductible for many, so it's nice to have it reported accurately and clearly in your bookkeeping. When you finish creating your mortgage interest account, go ahead and enter the amount shown on your mortgage statement for the interest portion, just like you did before. Debit the expense account and credit the account used to pay your mortgage payment. Finally is your escrow. An escrow account is a third-party account used to pay things like taxes and insurance. This will also be an expense account. It doesn't really matter what the detail type is here, though I chose miscellaneous service cost because it made the most sense. When you're finished creating your escrow account, enter in the escrow portion of your payment just like you did in the prior steps. Once your journal entry is complete and your journal total matches your mortgage statement total, you can match the journal entry to the payment transaction found in the For Review tab in the bank feed. Now your mortgage payments will be properly recorded in QuickBooks Online and reflected accurately on your reports. For more business resources, my online self-paced Home Bookkeeper Masterclass 
business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out adjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.